So welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness. It's a pretty nice day outside, so I wanted to uh, kind of change up the scenery. Uh, usually I'm inside shooting, but I wanted to kind of come outside and shoot. With that said, I'm hoping audio is actually pretty clear as I'm just using the mic camera. Before we get into the video, I want to always take a second to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. Uh, if you find it somewhat helpful, helpful at all, I would appreciate it if you give me a like, share, and subscribe as well. Another thing I want to kind of bring up uh, before we get into the video is I have uh, one of my friends, one of my actually shipmates that I served in the Navy with came out with a book. Uh, his name is Mike Nixon. The book is called Life, Travel, and the People in Between. So I just finished reading this book. Um, it's going to be coming out soon. If it's not yet, uh, check the description below. Um, he's going to have it on Amazon. It's a pretty good book if you're a fellow sailor, um, if you're someone that's interested to know about travel, life experience, uh, this is definitely a good read. So if you haven't had a chance yet, you want to check it out, check it out. I recommend it, not just because it's my friend, but it's actually a good, it's a good read. Uh, it's his memoir, learning a little bit about his background, where he came up from, um, from St. Louis, going to the Navy, just his life experience. So in case you're interested, looking for something good to read, Again, check it out, description, link is going to be in the description below. Uh, Mike, appreciate you, thanks for sharing this, uh, he even signed it for me, so I appreciate that. In case you guys are wondering what this video is going to be about, it's going to focus on being a field service engineer. Uh, I got a pretty good comment uh, actually today from a fellow uh, engineer, he works on biomedical equipment and he was just kind of excited and nervous about starting his new career as a field service engineer. So he already has experience with just doing the work, doing the maintenance, but adding the travel aspect and the managing yourself aspect that was gonna be new to him. So he kind of asked what's the be best advice um, I could give him uh, for his first day. So I kind of wanted to tie in and make a video about that since I have now going on two years, almost two and a half years, uh, of experience as a field service engineer coming straight out from the Navy. Obviously in the Navy I have the electrical background, troubleshooting background, but my issue is I didn't have the um, biomedical side just working on the equipment and just learning that aspect of it. Um, I will say for it being uh, two years in I feel like I've done fairly well, but again I kind of wanted to give my advice as to what I would do what I would say to someone just starting out. So number one with adding the travel aspect is going to be time management. So time management is going to be probably the number one aspect that you can have to succeed. Um, reason being is with time management you're going to be able to manage yourself which is key, absolutely key to being a field service engineer. There's lots of complicated aspects to the job, lots of things that are, oh, looks like it's gonna rain, uh, lots of technical things that can be sought out as far as the job goes, but without good time management, whether or not you're a good engineer or not, you're, gonna, you're not gonna succeed. Uh, the point of the game is to manage yourself so you're kinda running the show. Um, by being able to do that, you're gonna be successful. So manage your time well, plan ahead. Um, there's going to be little things that you can do, tricks little tricks to expedite things, make things smooth, but just work on your time management and improve that. Again, every company is going to be different. Some people might already have plans made out for them where they have to stick through. Uh, for me, I'm pretty independent. Um, I schedule a lot of my own work. I plan things out and I just got to make sure I'm where I'm going. I just have to make sure I show up where I said I was going to be at the set time. So it started to, I guess, rain, so I decided to come inside. But the second aspect I wanted to talk about, uh, about being a field service engineer, what I would recommend is not over scheduling yourself when you're first getting started. Um, if you have the technical expertise where you have the skill set to where you can go into a job site, knock out something, easy peasy, then that's a little bit different. But if you're just starting out, let's say you're brand new, like I was to the, the field, 
don't over schedule yourself. Um, oftentimes you're going to be very excited about the job. You're going to not want to say no to customers or your boss, whatever, but you're going to want to just pace yourself. Um, don't over schedule things that are going to be if something like, for example, if something goes wrong, one card goes down and then everything else is pretty much going to shit. Um, so don't over schedule yourself and simply just time management. You know, those are like the two big things when you're starting out in this career to be successful. I would say if you have those two things, you're going to do just fine. That's really about it for this video. Kind of quick, short, just wanted it to be straight to the point. I uh, hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, if you did, haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Share with someone if you find it helpful. Uh, with that said, I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, I'm hoping to have maybe another shorter video, something similar to this uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure what it's going to be about yet, but uh, just come back and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm.